Unchained Echoes is a 16-bit style RPG that follows a group of heroes as they explore a kingdom filled to the brim with lovable characters, breathtaking landscapes and challenging foes. As the player, you take up the role of a hero who has a whole range of abilities and options at his disposal, the most exciting being the inclusion of mechs, which are going to play a huge role in the game, not only for navigating each environment, but within battle as well. A pretty robust turn-based system seems to be in place that will allow the player to earn experience and over the course of the adventure grow their party and utilize a diverse set of skills and equipment which will help even the odds. Starting out life on Kickstarter, the project quickly surpassed its goal and is now set for a release in 2021. So if you're a fan of the several RPGs of old, Chained Echoes is shaping up to be something truly special and should not be missed. Digimon Survive is a new strategic role-playing game that will see players assuming the role of Takuma, a young boy who along with his group of friends managed to get lost during a field trip, ultimately ending up in a strange new world full of monsters and danger. In their fight to get home, difficult decisions and deadly battles will impact their journey and have the potential to alter the overall outcome of the experience with several endings that will make subsequent playthroughs all the more enticing. Now gameplay is primarily broken up into several types of play, with the most engaging being the battles that appear to all take place on a grid, with each Digimon naturally possessing a range of attacks and abilities that will make each encounter all the more manageable. Now the game was originally slated for a release in 2019, before being delayed and held back to 2020. It looks like it's shaping up to be another great entry in the series of Digimon games that have released in the past, so if more time is needed to fulfill the vision of the creators, I'm all for it. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is a remastered version of the GameCube classic that released in 2004. Players take on the role of an adventurer who travels the land in a caravan, collecting a mystical energy to fuel crystals that are positioned throughout the world and ultimately protect it from a destructive force. Now if you've played Crystal Chronicles before, you'll know what to expect. An engaging story, an intuitive real-time battling system, and of course a huge emphasis upon multiplayer that like the original will also play a huge part in the remastered version of the experience. As the player, you get to choose your adventurer at the start of the journey with four races to choose from, each possessing their own specific strengths. Complementing this aspect is the family feature, which allows you to choose a profession and reap the benefits of each, such as unique items and facilities, which will help you along the way. Now, if this one passed you by back in the day, the remastered version shall be the best way to experience this adventure. Temtem is an MMO that shares much in common with the likes of Pokemon. From the collection of monsters to catch and train to the colourful and vibrant visuals, it all clearly feels like an homage to Nintendo's popular franchise, but it offers enough to be able to stand on its own two feet. As the player, you assume the role of a trainer, tasked with capturing and nurturing several diverse monsters that all possess their own distinct abilities, which come into play during battle. Like the Pokemon series, each of these encounters play out in a turn-based manner, but the first aspect many will notice is the level of difficulty present within the game. Whereas in Pokemon you'll find yourself breezing through the experience, Temtem actually requires a bit more strategy in order to overcome the several challenges that await you. Now the biggest feature of Temtem though has to be its massively multiplayer world, which is something many Pokemon fans have dreamed of for years. You'll see other players running around in real time and often have the chance to interact with them. This aspect of the experience is sure to be a hit, and in my opinion the most compelling feature that the game offers. After the developers of the Room Factory series Neverland declared bankruptcy back in 2013, the future of the franchise was left uncertain. The following year, Marvelous picked up the rights to the series and have brought back the original producer in order to bring Room Factory 5 to the Switch. Now, not much is known about the overall experience, but it's safe to say that it will share much in common with the various games that have come before. Essentially an RPG, the series has always struck the balance between exploration, combat and harvesting that has made it a hit. With the increased power of the Nintendo Switch, Room Factory 5 has the potential to be one of the best entries in the series, and with the original producer on board as well, all the pieces are in place for yet another unforgettable adventure.
Trials of Mana is a remake of the third game in the Mana series, which never managed to find its way out of Japan. The narrative follows six potential heroes in their bid to acquire an item known as the Mana Sword and ultimately bring an end to a world-ending threat. Now as you can imagine, a lot has changed in this version of the game, the first thing being the visuals which are now presented in 3D, as well as several changes to the mechanics that make up the gameplay. Essentially an action RPG, each encounter takes place within real time and grants the player a whole host of abilities in which to overcome the diverse set of enemies and well thought out bosses you'll be running into. From basic light and heavy attacks to character and class specific skills, there are plenty of options to choose from and enough freedom within the leveling up system to allow players to craft each of their party members in a way that they see fit. After so many years, it's going to be great to experience this adventure, so if you're like me and are fond of RPGs, this is one to watch. When going into Trails of Cold Steel 3, it is clear a prior knowledge of the series is extremely beneficial as the game picks up two years after the events of the previous entry. It introduces players to a cast of new characters, which each have their own unique story to tell over the course of the adventure. Like the games that have come before it, the battling system is where the experience truly comes into its own. As you would expect, each of your party members possess their own advantages and disadvantages depending on the situation at hand. Everything is handled by something known as the Quartz system that allows you to grant each character extra abilities in battle such as spells or stat boosts that really help out in tight situations. Complementing this is the Link system that allows you to intricately tie characters together in order to perform follow-up attacks that have the potential to unleash devastating amounts of damage upon your enemies. As a whole, Trails of Cold Steel 3 is well and truly worth a purchase and with the portable nature of the Nintendo Switch, the action can now go everywhere with you. Announced back in 2017 at the Nintendo Switch unveiling, Shin Megami Tensei V has since become a bit of an enigma. Not much is known about the experience, other than its premise, which is to sympathize with the characteristics of the time, such as terrorism, unemployment, and the threat of nuclear weapons. According to the developers, the gameplay is going to take several aspects from previous entries and mix them together, mainly Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne and the fourth entry in the series, in order to create something unique. Now, this is the first time Atlas have utilized the Unreal 4 engine, and as a result it seems to be taking some time in order to come to fruition. As the developers have stated, it has changed the way in which they create games, and due to the increased power of the Switch when compared to the 3DS or DS, it takes up to three times longer just to create an individual demon, so it is understandable as to why it is taking some time for the game to come together. As a huge fan of the series, I cannot wait to see how it all turns out. A remake of the Nintendo Wii classic is finding a new home on the Switch. Xenoblade Chronicles is quite possibly one of the finest action RPGs of all time, and with its sequel already being available on the system, it makes sense to bring over the game that started it all. Players can expect to see upgraded visuals as well as new content and of course a new way to experience this classic that defined RPGs on the Wii. As the player you take up the role of Shulk, a young man who is plunged into an adventure that spans two great kingdoms. With an incredible story as well as a deep and well thought out battling system, this action RPG is bound to satisfy fans of the genre as well as newcomers alike. So if you've yet to experience this adventure or are jumping in for a second time, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is something that should not be missed. Back when the 3DS was king, Square Enix released a title that managed to garner quite the fanbase and following, which was known as Bravely Default. After a sequel dropped in 2016, the franchise went quiet and many thought that Square Enix had all but given up on the series. As it turns out, this wasn't the case. Bravely Default 2 was revealed at last year's Game Awards and will once again be exclusive to Nintendo hardware and introduces players to a new story and cast of characters to follow on the adventure. If the previous entries in the franchise are anything to go by, Bravely Default 2 is definitely something to keep an eye on, especially for RPG fans as it harkens back to the golden years of the genre with both its simplified presentation and emphasis upon battle systems and story. Well that does it for today's video, if you enjoyed it be sure to click subscribe to be notified of videos in the future. 